hello everyone and welcome to my channel my name is sherry thank you for tuning in today so it's youth week here on my channel and um i did two previous videos already this is video number three so i'm doing youth week in support of our youth it's for the parents but in support of our youth sometimes in the um busyness of life in the hustle and bustle and just trying to get things done you know we kind of you know kind of forget about the kids somewhere in there not really forgetting about them but just you know it, this is just a reminder a reminder bringing awareness for the children um just in life period um, why is it so important to take your children to church it is very important it's like one of the most important aspects of a child's life so i have eight points that i want to talk about and point number one is learning who God is, learning who Jesus Christ is, and they need that foundation and they need us to, to lay that foundation um, for them um, while they're young. But if you haven't done that and your child's a teenager or they're preteen or whatever, it's still not too late. You know, even if they're an adult, it's not too late. So get your children to um, church because just to know how much God loves them. Number two is to learn how to pray and talk to God. And um, because I just want to say there is trouble. It's always trouble going to come. And we know that as being adults. And the children are children, but then they're going to grow up. They're going to become teenagers. They're going to become young adults and then adulthood. And so we know as you know, we grow older, that trouble comes and you want to teach your children how to pray and talk to God because sometimes in life, you know how rough it is, you know where we've been and you know the things we've had to go through. So it's very, very imperative that you teach your children how to talk to God, how to pray at an early age because when they have nothing else to fall on, fall back on and when life is just, you know, taking his toll on them. They need to know that they have God. They have somebody there with them all the time. They have Jesus. You Number three is to be around positive people, people that will give them smiles and that will hug them and that will encourage them. They need something sometimes other uh, than us, you know, the parents being at home or this other siblings or whoever's whoever is uh, raising the child um, they need someone outside of that because sometimes you know family life gets hard and it gets chaotic and they need to know they have somewhere they can go and some people that will encourage them um you know in their life and number four is to have a sense of belonging a sense of you know belonging to a community a group of people that's outside the family and although you're going to be with your children going to church but just you know because like i said before you never know how this life goes and um sometimes you need that place where you could go where you know there's peace there there's peace there you know it's a community of people of believers of god of jesus christ that's you know trying to uh you know seek god and and live in peace and holiness and righteousness and things like that and um and number five is to discipline it is real good to take your children to church um because the word of god will discipline your child the word of god will discipline your child just like as it's no different as us being young adults or them being teenagers or us being older adults we all need discipline because this flesh you know and you want to teach your children how to act in society and can and be a productive member of the community um you know and so and just discipline because you know sometimes we were born in sin shaped in iniquity so you know the kids start getting as they get older they just start doing things you know and even though you're teaching them at home but they need sometimes some 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 other discipline and what better discipline is to learn from the word of god how to uh, act how to conduct yourself um, at home in public and just 
learn about yourself and and treat others and things like that and so number six is to so they could tap into ministry at a young age and um, you never know the gifts that your uh, children have or or God has placed inside of them whether it can be of singing spiritual dancing reading scriptures you know drumming um, there's so many other things that goes on in church and ministry and so you want to do that because sometimes out in the world um when they're competing and they're trying to get on like a dance team or a, a basketball team well they don't quite make the cut and that's embarrassing it's sometimes a negative for a child a young person even a teenager and so in the church they have it where people most churches can just come on in and be a part of this part of this group part of this group they normally don't turn children away and so it's very inviting it's very loving and uplifting and encourages your child and things like that and you want to keep them rooted and grounded like doing things like singing for the Lord you know spiritual dancing for the Lord because we know where this world can take them we know what they could be singing how they could be out there dancing and so um you know and I'm not saying I'm not saying if you do these things your child's not going to act up so I'm not saying that but like I said, number one, they need that foundation of Jesus Christ, God. They need the community, uh, you know, the, of believers. They need to know where they could go where there's peace in the house of God, things like that, and, and get them back on the right track. So if that shall happen, if they stray out there, and um, Proverbs, I think it's 6, uh, 22, train up a child in the way they should go. But you can look that up. Um and number seven is how so they can learn how to love others and respect others, um, you know, and and learn to love themselves and respect themselves through the word of God and through the help of the saints in the church and other people. And, um, you know, and just learning how to get along with their peers and other children in the church is so, so vital because out here in this world, even going to school, I mean, they 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 come into contact with so much peer pressure and 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 so many things that can distract them and take them off course and get them involved in bad things you know there's you can your mind can just go there and imagine so it's better to just have them in church and um not saying they can't do the activities that other children do and sports and stuff like that and and you know drama clubs or whatever acting but it's best to have them rooted and grounded in the word of God in church um I know from from you know me when I turned my life around and at 33 years old my children was fairly young and so I raised them up in the church um and there was a a, a big big difference in the behavior and in in a lot of things areas and so number eight is is also taking your children to church so you can have the support that you need and the help that you need that comes from the people in the church and um, you know and sometimes when you're a single parent or you're uh, uh, um, you have two parents in the household sometimes you need that help you know and sometimes you have to call on the church whether it be food whether it be encouragement and talking to someone um, counseling or whatever have you so um, there may be more but I just tapped into these eight right now and so I just hope you got something from this video I hope it made you think gave you food for thought may bring awareness to you of why you should be uh, because when the taking your children to church because I'm telling you when they grow up they start being rebellious it's something it's something it's something but you're less likely to get them to act out if you um, raise them up in the Word of God in church around other Saints and around just people you know nice people and um, so that's all I have for you in this video so I hope this was impactful for you um, and 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 encourage you to take your children to church to hear the word of God, the sound doctrine word of God, and um, so they 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 can learn to grow in their faith. Um, I should have put that in there, but learn to grow in faith and um, believing the things um, that they cannot see, believing for good things in their life to happen. Um, you know. So that's it. You all have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll see you in the next video.